Hey everybody, welcome back to some car art stuff. Today we're going to talk about the amazing Weebrel pads. Cool. I know Weebrel sounds like something that um, traps and kills rats and rodents, but um, actually Weebrel is this like really expensive, compared to other things, toilet paper looking roll. It's actually not expensive at all, I was just kidding. Um, but it's basically like super thick toilet paper. So you unroll a sheet and you tear it. And instead of taking this with you to the restroom, which I know is going to be tempting, um, I'm going to show you what I normally do with it for um, car rendering. But I also want to show you, since I know a lot of you have told me you can't find the Weebrel pads, I'm going to show you what it looks like doing it with a paper towel and doing it with a tissue. Um, and we'll just kind of compare all three methods and see what it turns out and just show you if you can't find Weeble pads I'll show you how to make a decent effect with some tissues but let me show you how I do it with a Weeble pad first so I get out a full sheet and it's ludicrously big so what I do is uh, go ahead and cut it into fours like this it took me years of practice to do that correctly so you're welcome um, so I've got these little pads and uh, basically when I'm rendering um, please enjoy my amazing spread of stuff here. So when I'm rendering, I usually got a couple different piles of chalk going. So what I do is I take it and I scrape off some chalk like that. Um, always some black and then let's just pretend we're doing a red car. I'm going to shave off another pile over here. It's red sounding. You can post a comment now if the sound makes you absolutely insane. You're welcome. Alright, so um, normally uh, oh, and I usually do another pile of blue. I forgot to mention that because blue you tend to always use on like rims and windows. And I like to take blue, but then I also like to mix in um, a bit of darker blue with it because I like uh, like it to be a little darker. So I kind of mix that up and you get this cool little chalk color thing here. So we've got some... Um, got some little piles right so with my Weeble pad I like to take it fold it like in half and then I kind of like to create a tip out of it like that so you've got this little like tip thing then what I like to do is just get it in the color a little bit and then on a different paper is where we would actually do it but I find that this particular shape is this it works really well so I'll get something going then I'll go back add a little bit more blue Maybe put it in there, and then I might get just a touch of black, just a real little bit. You don't want too much. And the paper I'm using today is just regular sketchbook paper. It's not nice vellum, so this isn't even going to look as nice as it would if it was on vellum paper. But that just gives you an idea as to how nice it, it goes on with the um, Weebrel pad. And you can see how thick and squishy this thing is. Um, if you did use this in the bathroom, it would probably be the best experience of your life. But I don't really encourage or recommend that, nor does the Weebrel Corporation. So anyway, that's um, a Weebrel pad. And then I always set this off to the side because I know I'm going to come back to the blue. Uh, and then for my actual color car, which is going to be red, uh, I do the same kind of thing. Fold it like this, get a little point. And you may not, you may hate the point thing. I don't know. Fold it however works best for you. But um, you can see like, wow, it just applies really well. It's almost like a pencil when you apply it. So go light, take it easy. You can always go back and add more. And if this was on, um, if this was on vellum, you could be doing this on the other side of the paper to get a really cool effect. Okay, so then I would set this off to the side, so I've got that going too. So you'll have a bunch of different pads all going at the same time, um, because when you're working, you're going to have a lot. You're going to keep coming back to the blue. You're going to change up the red. You're going to come in with your eraser and then change your mind and bring it back later. So um, that's what it looks like. So let's see um, what kind of effect we get if I take just a normal tissue. And tissue is about one third of the thickness of a Weebrel pad. So I'm still gonna cut it into squares, but I have a feeling I'm gonna have to do some serious, I think I'm just gonna keep it in a, in a half and then do the same kind of thing. And you can see it's already, it's a lot thinner than the other one. So I'm gonna get some on it and uh, let's just try it. So it applies, see I've got some crust. See that crust right there? That's one byproduct I can tell right off the bat is that using a tissue is leaving tissue-like remnants. Um, also, I don't know if you can really tell, but it feels, it feels different going on and I feel like it's not really 
I don't know how to describe it. I feel like it's not really permeating the paper. Like maybe some of it is just kind of sitting on top. But anyway, there it is as a tissue. So that's then. And then I've got some paper towel. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my quicker picker upper here and uh, fold this in half and in half and then kind of make the point thing about it again. Let's try some red. See how this turns out. This is super scratchy. I can already tell that there's like a lot of lines going in it. There's a lot of chalk getting stuck in there. I don't, I don't like this at all. I don't recommend it. I would cut up an old t-shirt and use that before you used a paper towel. No offense to Bounty and affiliated corporations, but that sucks. So anyway, uh, there's just some different examples. If you could find a Webrel pad, it is fantastic. And it's this has also lasted me over a decade. That's how either I don't use very much at all or Webrel just packages a lot on the roll. But hey, Go order one, see if you could find it. Maybe there's another version that's just cotton-based roll of sheets like this. I don't even know what this is actually intended for, but um, you could probably find it online or at your art store. But that is a Weaverl pad, and this is how I kind of work with my chalk. I have a separate paper that's got all the different chalk laid out, and I'm blending it and stuff like that. And then I'll have my actual paper here where I'm where I'm drawing. So anyway, just some good things to know. If you have any questions, uh, post them up. And if you can find some Weaverl pads, go get them. Whoosh.